different holiday decor. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. Also, if you have not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start here with my Christmas tree. I am going for a Scandinavian minimal rustic vibe, and I believe I've created that with the decor that I currently have. I'm still working, I'm a work in progress, guys, but I got to go ahead and show you guys anyway, so you may get some ideas for your own home. So starting from the bottom, a tip that I always use each year is to never buy a actual tree skirt. To me, they are just <laughs> one of those overpriced items. So I always just put a throw blanket on the bottom of my tree. I picked up this one from Ross for $8.99. And I just have a few ornaments on my tree, starting with these larger ones. I did pick these up from at home. They're like this flat kind of felt material. I absolutely love them. I like the scale of them because I do have a nine foot tree and it really helps to kind of offset the scale of the tree. And then I have these smaller um, white textured so snowball kind of looking ornaments. I picked these up from at home as well. They came in a pack of 16 for $3.99. If you have not seen my um, Christmas decor haul, I will link it down below and it will let you know where all of these items came from. I also added some of these glass balls and I put a little bit of the fold eucalyptus inside. I picked up the glass ornaments from the thrift store and the eucalyptus was from Walmart. And then I also added just the plain glass ornaments as well, nothing in them. I feel that they reflect the light very well and it creates a really nice ambiance. The last thing that I added were these pine cones. I did source these pine cones from outside. And so I think they give the tree a very rustic look overall. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about my Christmas tree. Oh, and let's not forget my Christmas topper. I did create this topper myself, sourced some twigs from outside. I um, put them together with floral wire and then I kind of bounded them together again, just to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive with some twine. So the next little vignette that I want to show you guys right off to the side of my Christmas tree is one of my entryway tables and this is what it looks like. I'm absolutely in love. Sorry about all the road traffic guys. As you can see the cars are going by so if you hear a little bit of noise please don't come for me. <laughs> okay, so I love this little moment back here. Once again, very minimal, rustic Scandinavian vibe. And let's get a little closer so I'll let you know where all of these items came from. Right, starting here on the left side of my table, I have these four brass candlesticks that I picked up from the thrift store. They ranged from 99 cent to $1.99 and I added a Dollar Tree candle to each of them. This book I picked up from the thrift store and comment down below if you know the name of this little gadget here. I don't know its name, but I do know its function and it is to put out the candles without having to blow them out. I picked that up surprisingly enough from the Dollar Tree and I thought that it was so aesthetically pleasing in that black, matte black color gorgeous. I decided to throw a little greenery that I forged from outside and pine cones and this beautiful wooden bowl that I picked up from Ross. I think it was $12.99. And then moving on, this is the last little statement that I made on the table. I divided the table up into three different sections, which made it easier for me to work with. Um, the star of this little vignette, however, is these beautiful 
modern concrete pedestals that I did create myself. If you're interested in how I created them, please give me a thumbs up and I will let you know exactly how I created these beauties. Um, I once again, to keep it cohesive, added in some of those pine cones and the greenery that I forged from outside and added them to a stack of books. off to the side of this entryway table, I created this small little moment here. I love the simplicity of it. It is just the simplest, cutest thing. And it may even be one of my favorite little sections in the house. I picked up this table. I think I got this from either the thrift store or Facebook Marketplace and just did a nice little paint job on it. The books on here are from the thrift store. The crystal is from Home Goods. The vase is thrifted as well. I just wrapped a little bit of that Dollar Tree twine around it. And once again, guys, please use Mother Nature. There's no need to go and purchase all of these different floral arrangements or picks because you will have to just put them away. And I got mine for free and it is these beautiful pines and that nice fresh pine smell right when you enter the door is very nice and refreshing for the holidays. All right, and moving on to my TV console. On top here, I just have one of my DIY concrete bowls on a stack of books that I picked up from the thrift store. Beside that, I have another one of those geodes from Home Goods. And below that, there's a stack of coasters that I picked up from the Goodwill. This beautiful garland came as is. I picked this up from Walmart. I think it was about um, $14.99. And then right at the end of my console, I have these two DIY faux stone trees that I created in my last video. If you have not seen that, I will link it down below for you. All right guys, I'm going to show you all the few little things that I put in my kitchen to kind of spruce it up for the holidays. I do have a kitchen tour already on my channel. I will link it below. So starting off, I created this nice little vignette. This um, tray, it is so old guys. I, I can't even begin to tell you where it's from. This beautiful vase, I picked this up from a vintage ceramic store in Atlanta. I forged the greenery, just a standard pine tree. The book on the bottom is from the thrift store. Another one of those cute little things to put out your candles. This candle is from World Market. It's my favorite candle. It smells so good. It is in the scent Sweet Orange. I added a few little pine cones. And these two glass Christmas trees are thrifted. All right, over on the back side of the kitchen island, I simply have two books that I picked up from the thrift store. The other matching little industrial Christmas tree that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And this little Christmas tree I picked up from the Goodwill for $2.99. Everything over here pretty much stayed the same until we get to my coffee bar. I picked up the white Christmas tree from the Goodwill. It was $2.99. The smaller gray vase 
that came from the Target dollar spot about a year ago. Um, all of the canisters are from Big Lots. So the canister on the right towards the back that holds my K-cups for my um, coffee machine, don't come for me, don't tell me, I need to upgrade. It works just fine. I am not one of those people that are buying because everyone else has it. It works, it's fine, it's black, I'm here for it. Anyways, <laughs> in front of my coffee, I have some hot chocolate and right beside my Keurig, I have this DIY little mini stool. Um, if you're interested in that, I will link it below as well. The two wooden trees were thrifted. They came in a set of three. The other one is right up there on the left. They were 99 cent from the thrift store. The little small greenery is actually a little small wreath from the Target dollar spot. And it was $3. And then to the left in that canister, once again, all the canisters are from Big Lots. It has marshmallows for the hot chocolate. And the tray that everything is sitting on, that was thrifted. And I did flip this, it did not start off this way. But it's the last little section of the kitchen that I kind of spruced up for the holidays. So let's go and check out my front entryway. All right, guys, this is my front door. I do not use this entry often, so, but however, I still wanted to decorate this space for the holidays. I just have a wall full of family photos. There is my very fine, fine, fine husband. And that is my son. These pictures are from last year of him. There's him um, this past Christmas. All right, so with the holiday decor, I kept it very simple here. The small Christmas tree is thrifted. I thrifted that about mm, maybe five years ago. So I do not remember the price of it. However, I absolutely love the little bulbs on it. Um, they have like a timer setting on there. It's inside the space. They can twinkle or just, you know, stay on consistently. I absolutely love it. Um, I kind of wanted to try out this little trend here with the base of your tree kind of being wrapped with some type of basket and or tin. However, I wanted to, you know, try it out on a smaller scale and of course with thrifted items. So this is actually a basket that I picked up from the Goodwill. I just cut a hole in the bottom of the basket and turned it over. I do plan on getting um, some type of white blanket or something to put on the inside so it can kind of cascade out. Over here, I just, in the back, I just have a wax warmer because who doesn't want their house to smell good. Um, these two candle holders here, I picked up from the Goodwill as well. The books are also thrifted and the beaded garland is from Hobby Lobby. Down here, I just have the um, planter that I normally have where my Christmas tree is. I am going to just fill it with some firewood so that it is aesthetically pleasing and that is about it. All right, guys, that's it for me for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed touring my home for the holidays. Please stay tuned. I am doing Vlogmas. So now that I've got the decor out the way, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.